This is the I Know Podcast, where we're all about healthy debate, honest conversation, and talking bare junk. Information, knowledge, observation. This is the I Know Podcast. I-N-O, information, knowledge, observation. Also, I know nothing. First of all, we are in a toy new space, in case you didn't realize. And that man behind me can be here for the whole time. He ain't really saying I know, he just listening. But um, yeah, being in a new space, you know, uh, I just want to say big up Rome that now left, but Rome here in spirit. We got <laughs> coffee. We got coffee here. We got Moe's here. Yo. My name is Marcus Myers. And um, this episode is basically because in the last three to six months, a lot of things happen in terms of whether it be politics, whether it be... Um, what things happen in politics? COVID. Um, yeah, but that's right. Um, yeah. Public situations. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fights. Um, street vendors. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of things happened in last six months. Lots, right. lots. Uh, and there are only a few people that we could think of that could speak about all these things. Right? Mm. Uh, so just to, give, just to give a full summary of what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about um, how the government has managed COVID and how we feel about it. Mm-hmm. And we're going to talk about the Republic. We're going to talk about our new national hero. We're going to talk about um, uh, giving advice to persons who have small businesses, people who are creatives, creatives. what what the future holds for Barbados and our economy. Um, and one more thing that I would say is that uh, on the I Know podcast, we kind of move on a different news cycle, that there's certain things that you may, may have heard that have passed. However, if you can learn from them, it's worth talking about. And sometimes doing a post-mortem can really benefit everybody. So we're going to be recapping a few things, man. But the only person that could talk about all these things is our guest right here. Now, you may know him because he is a political scientist. He worked with Peter Wickham. He's well-known, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff ain't, ain't really important. What is important, though, is he is actually the very, very first podcast guest that we have ever had which is the biggest thing on his resume. <laughs> and with that being said, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for DLP operative Devron Bruce. <laughs> what is up, cheers, sir? Cheers. What is that up? That man went from political <laughs> scientist to DLP operative real <laughs> fast. Right, right, let's, get, let's get straight real into fast. it. Apparently so. So this is now the second most important thing on my CV. Yeah, it's precisely. Oh, excellent, mm-hmm. excellent. Mm-hmm. Welcome That's back, man, Bruce, man. Thank you for having me, man. For true. And thanks for thanks for giving us your time when the podcast was signed up. We didn't even know what it would be, what it would become. I remember those days, 2017, I think. I said 2017, yeah. Yes, 2017. Long time, man. You're Asian. I think I'm wearing the same shirt. <laughs> 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 I, I oh man. Oh man. Let, yeah. Listen, let me just get into it, right? Um, there were a lot of things that you said before we even started the show, right? Um but I want to get into what you just said about you being a DIP operative. When I told people that you were coming on the show, they were saying, you're very smart, you're very bright. The only thing is, is that you have been compromised in some ways. That you, not only are you pro one thing, you are definitely anti the other thing. And I find that that is an issue that we have in Barbados where it's hard to find objective voices. So do you, would you say that you have a leaning to one side or the next side? Because if so, then we would know that you know, you may not be the most objective throughout this whole thing. I feel as though everybody has a leaning in one direction or the next. And I've been an individual who was involved in politics or studying politics for the last 12 years. And after that amount of time, you would have your own philosophical groundings. You would have your own perspectives and your own ideas of what politics should be, what policy should look like. And right. I think... That is not unusual for anybody. It happens in several other fields. Economists, for instance, political scientists, even even mathematicians. Quite honestly, you can find situations where they have their own perspectives that differ from other individuals. So I don't think it's a situation of, of bias. It's a situation of people having their own perspectives and values and experiences in life mm-hmm. that push them in certain directions one way or the next. Um, you use the word there, for instance, anti. I'm not anti-anything or anti-anyone. 
I just know what. Are you anti me or are you pro anti me? What which one is? It's very funny. <laughs> which one is it? The phrase "are you anti me" is actually kind of funny. That's very funny. That's very funny. I I I I followed Mia Motley's political career for years. I remember when she was the first opposition leader. Well, when she was first opposition leader, That's and there were several line. things that they thought that she brought to politics. Being the first um, opposition woman that was the leader, the first leader of a political party, now was a woman. And she was very, very engaged. She continues to be very engaged. And me as a Democrat, and I don't mean Democrat as a Democrat of a party. Me as a Democrat. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> me as a Democrat, I support engagement. And I want to see politicians who are engaged. I don't want a politician who is elected and then for the next five years, you don't hear from them. So there are several qualities that I think are useful coming out of a mere motley leadership-wise, engagement-wise, politically, that, that I think... Many people can aspire to. I want... Okay, this is, this is okay. So I'm going to give an example of the time that we saw. Because I've seen... And, and you had articles in the paper where you were anti-choices that the BLP has made. Specific to whatever the situation was, right? There was a time that you were pro what the Prime Minister chose to do. And I think that's a great um, kickoff to this whole conversation. You were for the position that she took on Trojan Rhythm. I was. Wow. I don't let you to explain <laughs> that. Because I know that because that was a huge topic within young people uh, amongst the public conversation. Give your take on that, because I, I would like to hear that. So I, I remember very clearly something that she said, and it's one of the just philosophical positions and perspectives that I have. When much is given to an individual, much ought to be expected. And given my position as a political scientist, given my relationship with the University of West Indies, for instance, I know what that responsibility feels like. So it's not something that you might have asked for, but the reality is that it is there. And when you have an audience ahead of you, you have to be careful in what you project, what you say, because whether or not you want to admit it, you have an influence. And having that influence brings responsibilities. Nobody is saying you're a role model. Nobody is saying you should live in a straight jacket. But just recognize that influence means naturally responsibility. So when she said that, I didn't object to, to the position at all. I, I, I thought that the individuals in question had influence. And then therefore they had to be mindful of how that influence would impact on other individuals. You just said um, you're not saying you have to be a role model. They're not saying they have to be in a straight jacket. And they immediately followed it with, they have influence and need to be mindful of that, which is putting them on a steady path. Not it might not be a straight jacket, but yeah. that's really a straight line. And I feel it is extremely unreasonable to look at an artist and say, this is the direction your art has to go in because you have because you have an audience. I won't determine what direction an artist should head in. But what I would say is the issue at hand was one that was extremely problematic. You were dealing with an issue of gun violence in the society. So you had 2018, for instance, 50, 49 Barbadians were killed in 2018. Then the following year was another record or something like that. So mm-hmm. the issue at the time was one where this was something that was rocking young people, rocking our society. And I had it been me, I would have said, you know what, I have options. As an artist, I have options. Yes, certainly there are alternatives and, and you you have the creative freedom to head in the direction that you want mm-hmm. but you had an alternative as well too. you could have head in a different direction discuss something else you had for instance soca artists who we know you know sing about whining when women and you know chipping on the run and what's not now heading in the direction of what many consider to be promoting gun violence so you had the option mm-hmm. and you know again you're, influence you're saying that there, you had the option but if you look at the market, do you? Because this this really came out in a point of time where there was no road to chip down. Mm-hmm. There was no party so went behind a woman. And at the end of the day, yes, artists have the options to create what they want to create. But especially in Barbados, an island where artists make so little money, I think it's unreasonable to tell them not to look at the market. And outside of Barbados, in regional, that's what the market is. So now I think the question is, how much do you think uh, the media on a whole attributes to wars gun violence? I would say it's one of the main contributors. Um, certainly, socialization matters, media matters, and several other things matter. The access to weapons and those various things certainly matter. But you made a point there where 
you know, the, the economy was one which was not facilitating these artists at the time when they chose to head in a direction that was not the most productive. But I thought that's what artistry is really about. When you're up against a wall, you find a creative way and a productive way, let's add the word productive way, to get things done. You mean I, it's I not wish. Wish. Nah, 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 I wish. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Finish your point, finish your point. We're going to be very well about it. As a region, we're limited to singing about two things, either killing someone or winning on someone. And that's sure, not I'm true. Sure I'm that. That's not nearly but what I said. But that's not true. But what I'm saying is, if the men in Trinidad making money in Barbados singing mm-hmm. them songs, if the men in Jamaica making, making money in Barbados singing them songs, by all means, I think that that is... That same about Henry. And I think if the Barbadian music say, any Barbadian artist know, take the same analogies, by the way, that the same... Artists in Jamaica has used. They may say the gun in the the gun in the gun is a metaphorical pen. If you have someone in the industry that is your rival and you are singing at your rival, I it cannot be a love letter. That is my rival. I am going to politic not politically, metaphorically write on something, and it it is it, just bringing up. It, it's just it's cool then. Let, let, can, can we can we scale back a bit? What is this whole thing about? Are, it ha, has a responsibility to, to be productive. Right, and that, if it yeah, as well. Get there as well. Why, 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 why is the burden, why is, why do artists have the burden of, oh, it has to be productive. Artistic expression is artistic expression. Right. And artistic expression, it does not come out of no, nowhere. There, there, there are aspects of society. You know, keep, keep, keep going. No, like there are aspects of so, society, some not flattering, some unpleasant, mm-hmm. right? You know, art is just a reflection of the society that you're, you're, exactly. you're part yes. of. Right, so, so I think what mm-hmm. cer- I'm going to stick a pin in this, but w- what the children rhythm and the expression of the artists, um, you know, are exhibited on the children rhythm just showed you what exists already. Yeah. It's almost as if it is a mirror pointed at what exists in society. Right. You know, just prior to that, there were all these killings prior to the Trojan Rhythm. As a matter of fact, the majority of these killings and gang-related violence, violence and so on happened just prior to, to the, to the tro- Trojan Rhythm. Right? How do we explain that? Artists are just there to express themselves right. and to express what is going on in society at large. And to, and to add to what you're saying, right? Mm-hmm. We have to look at what it is that actually produced these people to be this way. Right, so it's sometimes the same society. It's the same society. Exactly. So, so be, let, let's talk about some of the failures in Barbados that we've seen. For example, the court system. The fact that the, the way that the court system is backed up, and there's some people, there are so many people out on bail, and th- these people that should be locked away are out on the streets, influencing these same people. There are a lot of times when we hear these songs and the music that they're portraying and the stories they're portraying, this is simply a voice of a people who have been impacted by the system in this negative way. And for us to simply say that because they're not being productive, right, that, that they should not be doing it, I don't necessarily feel that's the case. But I even challenge that. Right. I even challenge that. The, the, the whole aspect of it being productive or not. The, the fact that it was this big furor and we had the Prime Minister commenting on it. Right. Which I'm I'm thinking as a Prime Minister, you need to be very, very careful about how you address this issue because it's, it reflects your success right. on the crime, on the youth, mm. and how they perceive society, uh, a society at large. Right? So I'll be very, very careful of how I speak to it. Mm-hmm. Right? To me, can we speak about productivity and the, uh, the how, how productive this has been by getting people to actually discuss it? Mm-hmm. You know? So when you say it's not productive, I actually challenge that. What do you mean by productive? Is it because it's unpleasant? I, I Maybe maybe I should have said, said that because what would you want to add to something that's already a problem? If you admit that media has influence, if you admit that your position has influence, mm. why head in a direction that you know can add more difficulties to a problem that exists? Here, um, my, so, my, 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 my response to that would be, if somebody picks up a gun and shoots somebody because of what is in a song, that speaks more to the, the quality individual. of the people exactly. than the actual exactly. artist. And I think that that, that is, that is which means that there's another failure in terms of uh, our education yes, system and mm-hmm. understanding context exactly. within that of the arts. Exactly. And if, if we cannot trust our people to not pick up a gun because 
somebody said something in his song. It now that's an indictment else. on yeah, us. That's an indictment. But, but media matters. And when when Cartel was singing, for instance, I hope I call it the right name, was singing about you know Clarks, for instance. Did mm-hmm. people not run out and buy Clarks? Know that they're singing about Blinciaga and all these kind of brands. Do people not? Here, here's are, the are thing. People not here's here's the things? thing. People were buying Clarks. And then Cartel made Clarks more popular. So it's not to say that Cartel is the sole um, but it's, driver yeah, but for it, Clarks. It's not an of, of his influence. Right. Um, of course, of course, of course, he so held soul in, right? But I'm showing you, like, at the end of the day, Cartel saw Clarks, people wearing Clarks, and sang about it because it was what was going on in society. It's not like he up as he decided, oh, um, I know I signed a deal with Clarks, I will sing about Clarks. The same thing with Balenciaga. And, and I would say this, uh, isn't it a stretch to, to, to say... A fashion um, endorsement mm-hmm. is the same as going and kill some person. No, 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 but to add to what him, you got, you got. Oh, yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but to add to what Bruce is saying, I think Bruce is just using it as an example to say that there's influence in both of these scenarios. Is to say that mu- music yeah, but does it's a influence culture. To influence me to put on a shirt is not the same as to influence and kill somebody. But they're both influenced. They're both influenced. And do you have? Other factors as well contributing to it. You have economic factors, you have socialization, you have media, right. you have I, 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 access I, I, to arguably guns. more mm-hmm. we, there are weightier motivations for it. No, thank you. I, but I, wait, hold on, hold on, everybody. Hold on. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I just want I just want Bruce, someone just uh, extrapolate. No, no, you, you heard you basically heard where we stand. Mm-hmm. Extrapolate, let me let me let's all mm-hmm. hear you. So for me as an individual, I don't like to add burdens to problems. I don't like to contribute to a further problem. If I see, for instance, um People littering, I'm not going to litter as well to contribute to that problem mm-hmm. and say that what well, is my right to litter. So that is just me as an individual. I, I would have found some way to begin to solve a problem as opposed to glorify it. And that's what many individuals saw, glorifying mm-hmm. it. And it's just it, it was just distasteful for individuals like myself and mm-hmm. apparently the Prime Minister as well, too. But I agree with you that there are more weighty or equally as weighty considerations that have to be made. Mm-hmm. The legal system, as, as Marcus mentioned, mm-hmm. again, access the education to guns system, through the as court, you mentioned as the well. education system, the economy is one which might push persons in a certain direction, external media, because we can't control external media mm-hmm. influence on us. But we just don't want a situation where, for instance, many of these artists at the time you mentioned COVID were on the payroll of government or have had some kind of inf- or have had some kind hmm. of economic benefit Wait, which, from which, the government. Okay. So, that, so it's, it's contradictory. Right. So before before we move so, on, so right? the persons mm-hmm. that pay you are in essence trying to fight this beast called crime, but then on the other end, in some ways you are influencing it or you're you're promoting it and it just I understand how it makes the government look. Precisely. What I what I think has been challenging uh, and I think the problem, you know, especially in the artistic community. And full disclosure, I'm an artist manager, right? So I got a dog in the race, right? <laughs> but um I I think I think what happens is is that government understands or government has had opportunity to know what these artists speak about, and it's a spectrum, mm-hmm. right? I think to vilify artists for a moment, right, was the wrong approach, or it was it was not the best approach. Particularly, you talk about being on the payroll, but government should know what these artists speak about. To the to the um the the veterans like the the lyrics and so on, we knew his history though for mm-hmm. years, years for years. years. It's mm-hmm. not new. So 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 why are we cool with? Why are we cool with the lyric of your? Why are we cool with the lyric of now with the jacket down and 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 thing and whatnot? Why are we suddenly getting amnesia about it because we're trying to fight a problem, mm. which arguably has roots in other places. Uh, recently, I did a... I, we had a... I don't know if it was us. We had a conversation um, about our circle, our circle of friends. We we got a close circle of friends, right? Mm-hmm. And I would like to say that we've enjoyed a certain level of education. Um, and we made jokes about some dark things. And to be able to have a sense of humor about things that are dark, things that are un- unsavory, maybe, speaks more to a certain balance. Mm-hmm. 
and an education. <laughs> it takes a wise man to play a fool. To understand, mm-hmm. to right. understand, yo, this is this is a dark thing and whatnot, and be able to compartmentalize and to say, "Well, look, mm-hmm. you know, uh, we could we could we could enjoy a harsh lyric, but we're not going to go and kill anybody." So, so is it the art, or is it how we prepare our society to appreciate the art? Right. I, that's 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 my that's my question. I I want I, I want I I want us to move on from this, but mm-hmm. Bruce, I want, I want you to get your final word. Um, all I will say is I, for me, the fact that it seems as though the government did not understand the nuances of artistry was telling for me. But um, I'll let you get your final word, and we can we can yeah. move on. Yes, my, my final stance. word is that we live in a society where culturally, again, when things are given. Things are expected. That is nothing new. That is not only limited to artists. It's politicians. It's economists. It's anybody who, in essence, begins to have influence. We expect these individuals to behave and act in a certain way. So maybe artistry is one of those fields that does not fit extremely well into that yeah. mold. Who is the arbiter of it? Of it? It's society. It is no one arbiter. What society says... That's something that's been happening for generations. Says, a, a segment of society says... We want this. There's a this for them, the society that are paying attention to those people are saying they want this. It is the people that weren't paying attention. I know, I know, we're supposed to be the last word, but yeah, what does that mean? Sorry, 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 sorry. We definitely got. It, it, it is the people that are not paying attention to these same artists that have the that have the call that that, that, that are upset with these artists. That does not add up to me. That does not make sense. Again, right. The final word. Yeah. I, I, agree. Yeah. I, I, I still agree. <laughs> So who much is given, much, much is expected. Okay, no all right, cool. So you will offer. Okay, and this is a great segue, right? Mm-hmm. So based on what you understand of an artist to be, Rihanna is a spectrum, mm-hmm. right? Not only is she a philanthropist, she's also excellent in her field. She has played Hollywood politics well, which plays a big role in her being the most successful at what she's done probably ever I would say top five you could say you can make the argument right mm-hmm. um, yet she became a hero but yet as a sex symbol who has a past which has influenced certain sexuality and whatever mm-hmm. in terms of the in terms of what we understand a traditional role model to be even to be named a national hero does she also fall within that argument that you're making now of not necessarily fitting the mold of much is, to, much, to whom much is given, much is expected? What was your take on the whole her becoming a national hero? Interestingly enough, Rihanna is one of those very curious cases and you point to it in a very effective way. So there are many different aspects of a Rihanna. And they're going to be, let's be honest, there are going to be things that Rihanna has done and will continue to do that does not fit in that very traditional mold of what a national hero is supposed to be or is supposed to look like or is supposed to behave. Mm-hmm. She's in pop culture. We know pop culture can, in many ways, contradict our traditional societies. So we, we can see where that argument can go. But what I would rather look at are the more positive aspects. So I think we've reached a point where we have to recognize the internationalization that Rihanna might have brought to Barbados. Because when we think of national heroes, as, as we say in politics, is the individuals that have created the state, have contributed to the early age of the state, you know, the right to vote, trade union rights, political right. rights, those kind of things. Those have been achieved. You will not have a national hero who has achieved national suffrage, suffrage for instance, again, because it's already been right. done. Right. So, so, so now we have, we have to think about, okay, what has not been done thus far? What do we need to look at, at the development of the state as opposed to the initiation of the state, as we call it? All of the major things, politically, economically, trade union rights, those have yeah, been done. So now we, precisely, those, those fights have been had. So now we have to look at, and I know me and Motley likes this, the internationalization of Barbados. And I think Rihanna has capturated the internationalization of Barbados. Mm-hmm. There's no individual in the history of Barbados that I think is more popular and well-known internationally than Rihanna. Mm-hmm. So I think that points towards where we need to go as a society. One who, who might have had prestige similar but mm-hmm. in a different time was probably um, Sir Grant Lee 
Uh, Silvers. Gary. 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 You know, recognize that space is being important. Mm-hmm. It doesn't justify um, what we discussed previously. Okay. Right. It doesn't justify. <laughs> <laughs> it. No, there's no contradiction. It's right, not right, okay. right. um, recognizing okay. a space. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's not that we're saying artists are bad. This guy. It's not that we're saying artists are bad. It's not that we're saying artists are bad. It's just certain things that we're uncomfortable with, and that's fine. That's life. Nothing in life you would agree with totally. Do you think it's right? Remember, right, right the, the thing is, right, I don't want I don't want us to belabor the old point. I'm seeing, <laughs> I think re, I thought I don't like I don't like when artists that that are on the international stage, stage. get certain passes that local artists do not. don't get. Yeah. I don't I don't want to belabor, <laughs> I do not want to belabor yeah. that point. But I'm I, but but the way that you easily kind of like saw all of the great things that Rihanna has done and her excellence and how that far overshadows everything that people can see as questionable. And in order, especially to hold the hero t- talent, right? I would like to say it for ours. But okay, I, I, I want to I, I ask you a question. My take on the whole Rihanna thing was, was that she is outstanding within her field and she deserves a, a level, she, she deserves a title that I can even say, if somebody said she should get this award or title that nobody else can get, I have no issue with that. My only thing is that words mean things. And to say that somebody is a hero based off of what they did being outstanding, I guess a bit tricky f- to me. And I've seen and I've seen the argument about about like Sagari is a hero, so therefore she's a hero. And I do want I think there's a difference between the two. And the difference, I don't want you may call me a Johnny for saying this, right? <laughs> I do not think that. It's a racial thing. Yeah, I don't think that. I don't think that Rihanna is to music in Barbados what Sagari is to cricket in the Caribbean. I think that within the field that he was in, which is indigenous and our national sport, which is within Barbados. No, not not indigenous, sorry. Not the our national sport and one that we hold there Mm. because of what it is that he did on the international stage, cricket will never be the same because of what he did. Rihanna left Barbados, went to a different country Within that country and within the hierarchy of that industry, she re- rose to the top of that industry. Those two things are not the same. And because of that, I cannot say that she would be a hero in that way. Well, here's but the of course, thing, still though. excellence. Uh, right. Go ahead, go ahead, Kofi. What's your, de- you go- what's your definition of hero? Does a hero have to change the genre that they're in? I think, the, I think a hero has to have a somewhat yes. I think a hero is supposed to inspire. A hero. Oh, that, 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 opens the, that opens the, the kind of worms today. But no, no but, but no, 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 she, I was about to say, like, she is one of the two black billionaire artists. No, even no, I'm saying within Barbados. But that that, that that is in the world, bro. She is one of the two black Barbados billionaire artists. Barbados she has she outside of <laughs> outside that's very sporty. Outside of of her um, music career, she has made a kid. She has a kid has a designer. She has done things. She has done music. No, she has done things that people in the states that have raised to that level of I've greatness never been able to do. Right. Has not done right. So so right, right, right. it doesn't make a difference if you think that she did not redefine what being a singer is. She has redefined what a Beijing is. She made that very possible for people to go. Oh, you remember? It's you remember when it was? Where's Barbados? Oh, that's in Jamaica. Where's Barbados? I mean, that's where is from. She literally <laughs> redefined Barbados, bro. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's. I don't know if that, what. I I mean. Go ahead. What. I think we need to look at is the fact that it is fine to rethink what a national hero is. We are independent, mm, right. republic, state, no. Right. And it is fine to recognize that we're living in 2021 and the idea of what a national hero is right. could be rethought. Yeah, that's precisely what you spoke about. Mozi, Mozi, you have a mic here or that? Yeah. 
precisely what we spoke about earlier. <laughs> um, what you spoke about earlier about you know the the big fights have been had. Yes. Um, but let me speak to this as a person who's in the industry, mm-hmm. right? As a person who manages people that are looking to be the next Rihanna. Rihanna has opened up a possibility. Yes. For a sector that has been so far undervalued, mm-hmm. underdeveloped, right? Rihanna has opened up the possibilities even beyond this music specifically, right? Because now the Barbadian understanding of creativity and creative expression and the fact that it can be rewarded has been opened up to a whole section of people. Barbadian society and Barbadian understanding of of a professional has been geared more towards our development. Physically, Mm -hmm. so we work on uh, the, the workforce, preparing the workforce, UE, establishing a, a, a university that we can have people matriculate, people get into the service industry and do different things and whatnot. What has not happened until this point was an imagination, you know, being allowed to expand and being able to, to dream. And monetize. I'm, and I'm, monetize I'm, I'm, I mean, monetize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and the, 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 the Rihanna's Right? Does that for Barbados, for a section of Barbados that has not had that kind of exactly development. Yeah. And to that you, degree as well. So she's a hero for people. artists for sure that have done very well. They have done very right. well. But not to the same degree but that she has. Not done. Rihanna but, good. But Rihanna? You know? So 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 you she's a hero for a section of Barbados. Mm. Right? I, I don't watch cricket. I mean, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. precisely. Gary, so, Gary, so, so, Gary Sober is I certainly... some person, uh, I get, we can use savior as mm-hmm. as a, um, as another word for it, right? She has, I remember when Rihanna got assigned, there was such a rush. People was like, wait. God, it didn't yeah, make yeah, sense. Else, well, there, yeah, yeah. I remember people saying they will get you five years the most. People yeah, remember that? No yeah. one but, but no, that but this no, was a thing that But now we are looking at, you know, when they, when they, when they approach people, about investment in certain things. Everyone has no uh, a bent towards oh we wanna we wanna invest in the creative industry. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What, what what where was that talk 15 here, years okay. ago? Okay. So here, so my my rebuttal to that will only be, I think it's of all those things that you just described, I wouldn't say I wouldn't use the word hero. That's just mm-hmm. but that but but again, that is me. That's me. I think you need to re- revisit Listen, your definition I, I, of hero. Let, let, let me paint this for you. We've had trade unionists, um, politicians, politicians, born sportsmen, we've had a Christian, a, a philanthropist. Think of it as their particular field. Mm-hmm. Yes. The trade unionists would cause for workers and so on. They have been a hero for. Mm-hmm. They've been right. So look at it as a sector. Rihanna has been a hero for the creative sector. Fair point. Actually, Marcus, like I said, I was joking when I said earlier, how you could forward Sir Alan Gill but not Rihanna? Well, I I <laughs> won't even begin to answer that. I think <laughs> 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 right raise your hand. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> That's actually, that's actually a very good segue. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, 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 but... But you understand what I'm saying? I get, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. If I get you look at it globally, I can see... I can see how you may have challenges with it, but mm-hmm. you need to look at it a little more closely. Mm. Okay. 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 Yeah? Um, right. I, I want... I want to... But I guess I could bring it to the Republic. For, for you, in terms of the Republic... There was a lot of conversations surrounding the Republic. One, why did it have to happen then? Two, was it really important to do? Um, the Prime Minister of Jamaica came out, I think, only like a week ago, two weeks ago. I said that. Last week. Well, last week. And he basically said that it was... Well, he said that going into Republic is nothing more than empty symbolism. We should work on things that are actually meaningful to the people of Jamaica at the time. And I I saw that sentiment being had with a lot of Bajans, but um, I just wanted to get your thoughts on uh, where you stood on it. Well, I mean, persons have argued that symbolism matters. 
that symbolism is not an empty vessel and, you know, symbols are important to get persons inspired, to do the groundwork, to get things done. Fine, I can take that argument. But for me personally, I've always said that we need to work on the things that actually impact on the day-to-day livings of Barbadians. And I don't think that becoming a republic the way that we did it, did that. Mm. Going to republic should have been a catalyst. And by catalyst, I mean a recognition that, okay, Barbados needs a revamping politically. Mm. Barbados needs a revamping constitutionally. Mm. Barbados needs a revamping legally, bureaucratically. And you recognize that. And we're saying in part of that revamping, we want our head of state to be Barbadian. We want a president to be mm. Barbadian. Fine. But don't leave it there. Right. It has to be something now that really impacts on the lives of Barbadians, economically, constitutionally, legally, politically. We go on a republic and we've created one job, a president. What, right. what, what does it mean for the rest of Barbadians who are unemployed? What does it mean for our political system that's still ripe with issues of transparency and accountability and corruption and all those kind of things? What, what, what does it mean? What does it mean for a legal system that's still backlogged as we talked about before? What does it mean for the bureaucratic system where you call government offices, you can't get the phone to But can answered. we not walk and chew gum at the same time? Right. But yeah. we're not doing that. All right. All right. We are. Wait, 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 wait. Bruce, Bruce, you finish your point? Mm-hmm. You finish your point, Bruce. Okay. Oh, yeah, by and large. By and large, I finished the point. Oh, okay, I'm okay. Just, I'm saying... just making sure. Because I... Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Moss, Moss. I... No, I, that's, I, 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 I was just... I was just um, challenging what he was saying. Right. Uh, why, why can't we walk and chew gum at the same time? I mean, the problems of poverty the problems of crime, the problems of unemployment are problems that will always be with us, Bruce. And to to not take the plunge, so to speak, into republicanism, right? Because we have problems that are pervasive and that have been with us from time immemorial and will probably be with us, right? Um, I think it's a little, I think it's a little unfair. I push back on that. I push back on that because, it, like, when is it happening? Okay, the pe- okay the the hypothetical situations that the czar spoke about last year, we were living for the last in like eight to twelve weeks, right? First, that's first of all. No, I'm, I'm so, 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 second of all, the what what is happening with the pandemic, along with um, the same things that you're talking about, we are going through a serious like depression in some of these sections of the country that you're talking about, whether it be whether it be the economy, whether it be a lot of the issues that you just spoke about, we're seeing a lot mm-hmm. of that now. Mm-hmm. I, to, to me, it seemed as though the focus on the Republic should have been something that is, uh, that is overall by all stakeholders, something that we would put some focus on, but we couldn't. Because look at all the fact that the fact that I know people in the artistic industry who have not had who have been starving for the last two years, because I know people who are small businesses who are because of the, the amount that 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 customs is just tax them, they have to put their price their products at a certain point where they alienate a lot of their customer base. These are certain things that we are still thinking about. I've not even been able to f- find solutions to. So people are so distracted by this thing that when, when the whole Republic was coming up, I, a month before the Republic happened, people are like, oh, I forget that that's happening. And that should not be the case if, if there's something that is a shared moment that is going to be remembered mm. and also something that we were waiting on for 394 years. If that had happened, to me, it feels as though the people that were really, really interested in the Republic were the ones that were a part of it, one, mm-hmm. that wanted to be a part of history, which arguably, uh, most of the people that were part of the Republic did not feel the full brunt and storm of the pandemic like the rest of the when industries. When you say part of the Republic, you mean people... I mean, I mean the, 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 the higher-ups. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. This, this, mm-hmm. All right. Because I mean, we are right. part of the Republic. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then the other person's that are interested in, you know, uh, politics and that kind of thing, the, 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 the patriots, etc. cetera. There, there, there are a lot of industries, I find, that a lot of people, they didn't really feel it. And now that time for the ceremony is gone, right? And I think it was something where... But, okay. We can't really get everybody involved okay, because but, they were but, distracted okay, by okay. things. So, so, so I share that. How much of the populace is interested in that kind of thing anyway. 
But th- that's oh, a good question because, mm-hmm. interestingly enough, the reason why that's the case, where you may argue there are not many persons' interests, is because the absence of one education, the absence of persons being involved in the process, and just just the level of absence. Right. So so let me so let me let me ask this then. If that is the case. Mm-hmm. And it's this absence of education and so on in the political process. And uh, and that breeds, obviously, people not having a particular care for it. Mm-hmm. Then when? Should we defer it to the population is interested in it? When will they be interested in it? It's not a question people of when. It's a often... question of how. Okay, hold That's on. That's the real All question. Right. Okay. All right, cool. How interested they are in it? No, no. People how will... do you approach it? But, okay. it... What can you do approach ways to get people involved and get people interested in it and just recognize that the consciousness of people can be put forward in the way or pushed in the direction if you're doing enough things and the correct things to get them to do that. Okay. And that was absent. Okay. I agree. The whole thing felt a little rushed. We're on the same page there. I'm saying, when would be the good time? We like to all point. Okay, mm-hmm. so, all right. The, po- the, the, the populace isn't into this thing, they don't understand it, they don't think or whatnot. Okay, we could have given a little bit more time, but how much time? When we not, people, when we not, when we not in the peak of the pandemic, when every when will we not after, be in it? When we, when when after, Marcus, wait, wait, hold on a minute. When mm-hmm. after, when every, I would say probably every two to three days, we will see that four people, five people have died. That ha, that that new story has come out Marcus, every day. Hold on a minute. Mm-hmm. Every day for about eight weeks, right? Okay. Eight weeks, twelve weeks, right? Okay. We can exchange. Four people have died from... I mean, months. No, despite. No, despite. No, despite. despite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. We, can, we can exchange four people have died today and yesterday due to COVID. Mm-hmm. But let's change those words to four families, four Barbadian families are in Five. mourning because of that. That has continuously happened for eight to 12 weeks straight. If there is a better time, which there will be, of course, the better... The, well, I can tell you a time that it is not the best time to do it when people are not completely distracted, right? Which would be when we're in, in the peak of this thing or at 400 cases at okay. a time. Okay. And, and that, 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 was, that was my take on it, right? I feel as though... That the, to, I, when, so a lot of people said that the reason why it happened that way was because it felt as though it was more... It became a checklist on the political agenda. Yeah, precisely. Uh-huh. And also it was not a marketing and that, strategy. And, and that, that's that, fine. That's, maybe that. That's but politics. Go, go, go ahead. That? That's politics. But go ahead. Nothing new. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, Bruce. Uh, you, you think that's the case? I, I, I want to hear that. I, I, I do. Um, To some extent. Let me put it out there that I am actually glad Barbados has become Republic. It's something that I support. But as a political I'm scientist, I think... I mean, yeah, it's, it, as a political scientist, I think process matters. And I think involvement matters. So th- th- that was really my objection. Again, I'm a Democrat. Right. I like mm-hmm. persons to be involved well, in processes. So that was really one of my major objections. Now, I think that, let's be honest, there's a piece of legacy building that's occurring with the Motley administration. Well, sure. Because remember, they came to office on the economy. When they were saying they're going to get the economy back on track, they're going to mm-hmm. deal with all these issues. And then COVID came. So the practical reality is one where Motley knew that she could not deliver on some of the things or many of the things and the major things mm-hmm. that people wanted her to deliver on. And she dis- I wouldn't use the word distract, but she went in a direction where the conversation changed. Right. Away from the economy, away from unemployment, away from cost of living. And I call it gladiator politics. Uh-huh. The Romans did it well. Uh-huh. When, when things are bad, we send people to the Colosseum and watch people fight to be killed. I call it gladiator, gladiator politics. So that's what it was. The politics of distraction. When things aren't going well, you want to have a level of good feeling. So you had a ceremony and you had, you know, all the the the, the, the PR around it. And just having a good feeling. I, I want you to, and that's part of politics. But I, I, it's nothing new. I, it's part okay. of politics. I want, I, want you to, I want you to add to this. So persons mm-hmm. that are listening may say that you could be being a bit pessimistic in what motivations can be for an administration. Why would you say that it would be gladiator politics as opposed to just doing something that should have been done a while ago and if and, and if not now, when being the motivation behind it? Why would you go a- along the lines of uh, gladiator politics? Timing matters. I would have thought that 
one of the earlier things that she would have done would have been announced the fact that Barbados was going to go to a republic. So 2018, 2019, that I thought was, I know she was focusing on the economy, but I thought that that period would have mattered. But I recognize that there came a point where Motley deliberately tried to change the narrative and the conversation. And that was when I think she recognized in her mind what she ran on she cannot deliver on it. And that is the economy, and we're still here. I think that was a, a deliberate, deliberate decision that was made. So you remember in 2020, I think it was, when there was the throne speech, when they provoked parliament, yeah. for instance, and, and we started parliament, mm -hmm. in essence. The whole conversation about what their government was about began to change. Mm -hmm. It moved away from the republic, or rather, it moved away from the economy, and went into all kind of discussions, it was, um, you know, the, the, the same sex thing, it was the republic thing, it was these right, social issues, social, and yeah. precisely yeah. as opposed to what they actually mm -hmm. came to office. So the, I, I thought that was a deliberate attempt, and it's nothing new in politics, I would say. Let me, let me, uh, let, okay, okay. <laughs> I like this. I like this. I like where we are. Okay. Do you see that what they were doing as a shift to social issues? Many persons would say that that is still on the economy. Because marketing the brand Barbados is very important. And living in a living in a time where we are living in a progressive world, mm -hmm. we're living in one where same-sex marriage has a lot of social currency around the world. Mm -hmm. And when, when we're talking about in terms of um anything to do with breaking away from Hot old tape. colonial chains, all of these things, that can still Hot be tape. to do with the economy. The 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 breaking away of the colonial change has to be the fact that we recognize that our people matter. Our daily lives matter. Remember, we're coming out of a period where our economic realities, our financial realities did not matter. And I still feel many Barbadians wake up today and they still think, I don't matter. I don't matter economically. Mm -hmm. I don't matter financially. I'm still broke. I still need 12 jobs to survive. Mm -hmm. And those realities have not changed. And there has been a just a distraction and a movement away from solving those issues. Okay, but surely, freedom. surely, surely with time though, like uh, in terms of marketing, surely with time, those mentalities can change. If you are positioning Barbados, like, okay, as you said, COVID happened. So the, the narrative changed. But surely, if we are marketing, by the way. Yeah, 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 for sure. Probably. So surely, if we are marketing Barbados to be on a pedestal, no, like this is the destination. These people are on the right path and we still got the nice beaches. Surely, eventually, the narrative can no longer be any 12 jobs, but I have a stable job. But are we seeing beyond marketing anything that's concrete that is actually solidifying, improving our economy? Where are the investments? Is the investment in alternative energy? Is the investment in entrepreneurship? Sir, well, is in, where, where do we see the money well, actually well, going? Well, 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 this. Well, well, okay. The creative industry. For this, this, we're this, actually not seeing anything concrete. Yeah. Yes, before anything has to happen, anything happens, there needs to be a conversation, right? We have seen Prime Minister Motley travel abroad, and, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm no, I, I'm apolitical, right? But we've seen her travel, we've seen her sp speak about climate change. Of, of course, I need to see what, if we can bring home the bacon, because we need something tangible, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? And I would hope that in this wooing of the international community, that we are able to bring home the bacon to be able to to act on these things that we are, we 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 purport to be interested in in terms of climate change and whatnot. But you've seen her going out being a trailblazer about that, having conversations. And while I would admit, it does a lot for her personally. Personally, <laughs> and I'm not lost on that, mm -hmm. right? I can see the win. If she's able to bring that home, we are in the conversation in a way that we have never been. Right? And I'm glad for that. I'm I'm certainly glad for, again, the internationalization of Barbados. But again, her constituents are not the international community. If the, as, as Beijing like to say, I don't like the term, but home drum should be first. We should at least be, you said walk and chew gum. Right. We should at least be able to point to A, B, C, D, E, and F that is being done domestically to improve the lives of people. And people seemingly don't feel that. Again, where is the investment? Where is the growth going to come from? Where is unemployment going to decrease? Where is the energy policy going? We're not seeing these things. Oh, okay. can I ask you about some of things? I want to ask you about some of things. Sure. I want to know... To you, Bruce, from my understanding, the cost of living is a lot because 
we got to pay for a lot of things in Barbados in order for them to be free. One of them being, for example, education, one of them. So called right? entitlements. Right. And that, and that is one of those things where we kind of like distribute certain things uh, across Barbados so that everybody has equal chance to uh, have these opportunities, et cetera, right? Um, uh, do you, I don't understand. How do you see our taxes lowering in any way, which is one of the issues that you just um, highlighted, if we have that kind of like embedded in the development and the growth and the and understanding Barbados to be that way? The, the focus has to change. So there are various ways for a government to attract money. One is taxation. Another one is growth. You can actually improve your economic circumstances and that actually leaves more money there for you to actually tax. The, the Barbadian economy, because of the last administration for instance, and global international crisis and everything else, has not grown in 12 years, 13 years mm. almost. Mm. So you're taxing a smaller and smaller piece of right. the pie. A exactly, a smaller and smaller piece of the pie as opposed to one that's expanding. Right. That's what made Oinatha so successful as a politician mm. and so successful as a prime minister and mm -hmm. why Barbados did well because he grew the economy. The economy right. was growing for five, I think 6% at one right. point. It's mm -hmm. almost like international investment, the tourism was exactly. growing and the economy was expanding. People wanted to come to Barbados, but now we're making money off of less and less, and but it's not. Less. It's, it's not the same thing that the that the that people complain that the that the DLP did, the which would have been uh, the taxes, yeah. as opposed to grow the economy and do the things that are necessary right. to grow. Because the economy. I, think, I, I tend to look at it as a as a as a pool, but with a tributary. Mm -hmm. right? So 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 if you take more from the pool mm -hmm. that that exists, right? You know, it's a burden, right? But if you're actually feeding that with a tributary, precisely, right? So, so but, where is the mm -hmm. tributary? Where is it coming from? Are we seeing where what has this government done to show that in two, three, four, five, ten years that this tributary will turn into a whole river? So, but what do you think the reason is that they haven't done it? Because it, it doesn't seem to be a priority. But because, hold, but, was, hold, but, but can we can we say that without the context of a crisis, a policy, of international crisis, the, the money you as have, a pandemic? the government <gasps> is sitting, the government is sitting on how many now? Three billion dollars in reserves. reserves. For, for mm. reserves. The government, this government has drawn in more taxes than any other administration in Barbadian history, prior to COVID, for instance. The government's. Uh, Fiscal situation has improved, but we're still not seeing where the investments are. They make a lot of talk. They have a lot of talk, for instance, about going um, fully renewable by 2030. Where's the policy? I remember when I was on the market looking for a vehicle, I was heading in the direction of an electric vehicle. Mm -hmm. The prices threw me off completely. And I wouldn't say that I have but an how average. Much, but how much is that is, is governed by the government? It, it is because government determines the level of taxation. It determines the level of um, reductions that could occur that can help spur an economy. If you want an industry to grow, you have to do the correct things to ensure that it grows. It can't leave it by itself. I, I, I'm I surprised I wanna, you said oh, that. Oh, okay, because okay. like... Um, I do agree that um, if that's the direction we're going, electric vehicle, electric vehicles should be some form of tax-free. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, we, we, but is that something we could do now? Is that like... Right. Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. I go ahead. like what you're saying, right? But realistically, timely, then the case. Is, I, 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 again, I don't have, I don't support any particular party, but I just feel like them in a difficult position. I want, yeah, so I, I, want, I, want add, I want to add to that. This, this is a question. I can add to what Kofi is saying. How much wiggle room does the government have to reduce taxes right. knowing the situation that we're in to you? Th that is what crises are about. We get lost in the Caribbean where we're up against the wall and we continue to stand against that wall. You should use a crisis to your advantage. Now is mm. the time to reinvest. Now is the time where you aren't um, you know, oh my God, crisis, 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 but you actually find ways to reinvest your money. Education was a perfect example. Uh -huh. For instance, when COVID came, we essentially took education online, but it wasn't actually an educational system that was modeled off of anything other than the past. You moved the teacher to a screen, but there was actually no Sir, innovation. Have you experienced the world? The, the, no, the, no. <laughs> everyone has like, yeah, that, 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 that is also no, but, no, but our realities are different. No, we actually have to make the necessary we investments. We benefit of time? You did again. Oh, wait, hold on. When, hold on, when hold is on. the right time? You all asked me this question. You all asked me this question. Whenever is the right time? Whenever is the right time? No, was the time? Because you recognize that persons are in a 
place of flux. They recognize that this is a place of change. They were psychologically ready to change. We weren't psychologically ready to be wearing masks and social distancing and, and so doing all this working not. from home and what's not. Pardon me? The world was not ready. <laughs> I, I but, promise but, you but the world. Not problem. But again, we're still not we're still mm-hmm. not seeing the necessary movements on our government's part. Okay, uh, so what would you need to see? Regarding which aspect? Regarding okay, let, let's the, the, throw the, one the, the education, education. Yeah. Let, Okay, go. So we know that we have a system where instead of having exam, for instance, we could have used continuous assessment. Yet somehow. No is the perfect time where you could have implemented a continual assessment, a program, but somehow you still find yourself pushing CXC, pushing common entrance, you be pushing exams. No was the time because you had the opportunity where persons were at home and they could not come together in a single room or do an exam. No was the time to get rid of those things okay. and implement, let's say, for instance, a continual assessment based program that allowed persons to show their strengths over time okay. as opposed to so, exams. So, so okay. Wait, before we move on, you, you feel like you are your ups, right? No, 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 we are now what? Twelve months into the pandemic. Two what? years. Two years, come boy. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> <That's gap. laughs> two, two, two years. Two mar- years. Two years. Almost, March. Man. Two years. Right. March. Okay, but this thing happened in March, mm. right? Twenty twenty, by the way. Twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, let me, let me tell you something, right? It's been one long March. Oh Jesus. For me, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But my but my, my my question is this: How do you design a plan in the face of a pandemic? Put that plan into play with teachers striking. Well, I don't know if there's no teachers mm-hmm. dealing with issues, protesting different issues, mm-hmm. right. issues regarding the issues, pay, everything. Issues also, regarding not health, everybody, health, 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 I, a continual I, I, assessment. I take you, I take you um, Monday morning quarterback in. I, I take, yeah, you, go, you ahead, go 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 Damn it. Freaking damn it. Exactly. It, go ahead, Bruce. 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 No, no, when? How? Oh, it's not, it's not a question. Sorry, you're asking your own question. So much up there, by the way. It's not necessarily <laughs> when. How, how are we doing this, B? No, no, because the thing is, we have to understand our society. We call it piecemeal, for instance. We are used to ha- heading in a straight direction. Right. Things are going fine, right. and Linear. nothing is ever mm-hmm. done. So no, at a time of crisis, you had the opportunity. To shake it re- exactly. Right. And you're not seeing the shaking. But are the systems You're seeing facilitating. Be, be, and that is the question. Look, we, we, the question. we are, we are yes, very right? unionized. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go. 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 Bruce said a spit, right? I just want to make sure that although we push him, but I just want, I just want Bruce get get heat. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 right. right. I ain't too sure. I ain't too sure. Sorry, sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, go on, bro. Go ahead, on, bro. Bye, bye, Bruce. I thought he was finished. I was, I was by large finished. I'm saying that you have to first recognize that now is it time. You at least have to agree that it should be done. And I think that's what we're missing in society. We we consciously recognize now is the time. Let us have coalition around this issue and move forward in that direction. The question I have to ask mm-hmm. is, have, is, are those plans being made? For instance, is the research being done to see whether the, res- the results that we're getting back satisfactory? Is the research being done to see whether teaching online is working? Is the research being done to see what adjustments need to be had? Right. Is that being done? We don't know. I'm glad yeah. Marcus bringing back in because that last part was very hard. That was that was very true. <laughs> we don't know. I'm, okay, I'm I mean, I... no, and what we do know is that the world going forward will be heavily technologically based. Mm. But are we putting the necessary things in place, research wise, investigation wise, implementation wise? Are there any pilot pro- products being done to recognize that this is where Wait, we need to go? What, 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 research can we I... can we not say? Sorry, Kofi. Mm. But can we not say? That this has been the test about techn- how we can put, uh, you know, inject te- technology in this in, in the education. Mm. Uh, I disagree with that, Samuels. I don't think this should be the test. This was this was an emergency. No, exam. but it is a test. It is a test because this, because this, we are we are being forced. We've been 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 forced into this thing, and we are able to figure out what works. As, and what as does an not educator, work. I will tell you that we are not actually using technology to teach. 
we've just brought it online. The two are completely different, you know. Mm. He's the correct. two are completely mm. different. It's just sim- mm. it's, it's for, for instance, that is like me on the phone with the teacher. Right. Right. She's not in front of me. Right. But the process remains the same. Mm. The curriculum remains the same. Mm. The information remains the same. Okay. Nobody is any better off technologically. No, I see that. He's I, very I, right. I, I, no one no is better teaching off programming, te- no one's teaching exactly. robotics. We're not using technology. We're not okay. actually uh, using technology. We're using technology. In our technology in our curriculum. Curriculum. Correct, correct, correct. Mm. We're not. I know was I, I want, to I want, to I want, oh, go ahead, go ahead, Kofi. Go ahead. I want to double back to when you said um you wanted to get rid of um oh lord. The gas sucks. No, the taxing, uh, the uh, testing, sorry. Oh, testing. Testing. Just no. Uh, are you ready for one uh, of them, man? Testing, testing. Right, right. So which I, I agree with, right? Like, but can you imagine going to a Barbadian family and, and looking at them and saying, We are just not gonna do any term exams? This is how your son did this year. I that that, that change that sudden change because you it, this is again in context of the pandemic mm-hmm. that sudden change in the educational system what people make several right off being furthermore I know that I know parents being that they just care how their child perform compared to other children and but, at eleven plus but, but the reality is is that that leaves so many people oh it throws exams throw you you are, people I, you are out correct bring them in so we can you are to correct. focus on a but, very but, slight and small that is segment true. of our but you can't but, but, bring that up on the public but, bro but, that's but, you just, but you have to because it's where you have to go and that's what leadership is about if not no way I I want to add what Bruce saying right I want to add what Bruce saying right I want to add the they got a lot, man. Me, bro, right. bro, bro, bro. They got, they got, they got a lot. They got a lot of people. They got, they got a lot of people, though, uh, that most. have been saying that uh-huh. in order to bring Barbados into the next stage of their development, mm-hmm. you got to drag them kicking and screaming, which I agree with to an extent, and it depends on what you're talking about. Let's become a black public. Right, right. Uh, but so, in that regard, I get what Bruce is saying in terms of mm-hmm. that. I do get what, what, what you're saying to the most in terms of they, the the pandemic, it is hard to have a laser focus on one mm-hmm. issue. Then it's the, then the pandemic is one, first of all, a lot of moving parts. Mm-hmm. And then two, impacts every the single segment, industry. Right, but the most important part, I think you would agree, would be Economy. people's health and people's yeah. well-being. Mm-hmm. So it, it's, it's difficult to do them things. And I think that looking back, it makes sense. But I think that... I get, I get what you're saying. I get, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I want to ask you something, right? right? You made a point about the where we are in terms of locals not seeing any change. A lot of people are under the assumption that it's hard to make change in a place where like there's very little bigger room in our, in, ter- in terms of like freeing up like the taxes that we've got to pay with. Apple. One of the things we said before we started the podcast, you said that the that gas tax the, gas does not have to be that expensive. I want you to give me the full breakdown of that idea. Let's talk about the, it. The, the reason I said that is because persons don't know that about 50% of the money you're paying towards diesel or gas, about 50% of that is actually taxation. Mm-hmm. Only about 33% of it is actually fuel. Mm-hmm. So we've created... 33? 33%. I, I knew it was less than half, but Jesus, please. Just 33%. Wow. So in what other field do you walk in somewhere and you buy something at 100% of the cost, you only get 33% of what it is? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, and that is crazy. So for instance, you have the excess tax, you have the fuel tax, you have the, the VAT tax on gasoline, and about 50% of right. it is tax. And... That is not to say that government does not need revenue. But again, focus matters. If your goal was to grow the economy, taxing gas is a bad idea because it impacts on too many things. Yep. It impacts on it's transport, global. impacts on uh, boating, mm-hmm. it impacts on people in storage who mm-hmm. have to store food, it impacts on persons in energy, it impacts on too so, many aspects of our I, I am right, right. so glad to hear you say that because like, it has never occurred to me. And it's very, very interesting. We cut the road tax. I was like, you can pay out the gas pump. But man, that story meat ain't driving. Man, that cutting grass. And they ain't driving, bro. Men like, that using boats. People that exactly. Storage, like, that is... Let, farmers. Let me, it it let me, made so much sense to me until you just said that. Let me, let me, so let me ask you something. People will say that the money got to come from somewhere, though. If you, if you reduce taxes there... Where would you put them? Going off of how the answer, the money comes from growing the damn economy. Okay, I'm mean, you say growing the economy. I want so you to explain that. So, for instance, the Do gas tax. You make it seem like a button is pressed. No, no, no. It's not a button. It's a recognition of that the policy direction has to change. Right. Mm. Recognizing, for instance, that Barbados is a consumption economy. It does. Whether it we like it or not. The gas tax raises about 
81 million dollars i think it was in one of the one of the years 81 million dollars that's mm-hmm. that's the one percent of the barbadian economy mm-hmm. prior to covid barbadian mm-hmm. economy is about 10 billion dollars 81 right. million dollars is less than one percent we we is one third of elon yeah it'd be pretty small not even one third <laughs> one thirtieth of elon one thirty right. precisely precisely you have an economy that's based on consumption and based on people moving and everything else you cannot then expect your economy to grow if you continue to tax the thing that makes it grow mm. for $81 million. It's not worth it. For less than 1% of the economy, so again, transport. It's 16% of the economy of Barbados economy is right. transport. Mm-hmm. Boating, for instance, as I mentioned, for anybody who has to store food. So we know food, for instance, is something that helps to grow the economy. A lot of small businesses and food, mm-hmm. entrepreneurship and food. So you have individuals now who drive to get to work, who have to pay more in taxes that can't spend that. Maybe with a small business that can't right. spend it in the supermarket. And that constricts the economy. So I would argue that they have to look in the direction where literally moving that tax could actually help the economy produce more taxes in other areas, maybe VAT, for instance. That no, what does that sorry, do? sorry. No, no. <laughs> Anywhere you know, else. You know, no, no, no. You know, uh-huh. you know, you're not increasing VAT, you know. What do you, you mean? Just, you're just you're, it's ensuring... because of growth elsewhere. Oh, oh, more okay, 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 okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was very scared. So no, I can go <laughs> into the supermarket. Pay, I can, uh, I can afford to pay no more in the supermarket and buy more food, for instance. Because it's more things. Because to okay, exactly. okay. And I, then the VAT receipts will actually go. Scared, bro. For instance, right, right, right. so so when people when people when you tax people less, they buy more. Because, 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 because we're a consumption economy. Right. Right. Well, well okay. I want I, I want to hear you arguing yourself a bit. If you were in their shoe, if you were in their sh- okay, you are rebuttaling what they're doing now. Mm-hmm. Put them on a feedback loop. <laughs> you rebut- you rebutting what they're doing now. If they heard you say that to to what they're doing, mm-hmm. what would their rebuttal be to your rebuttal? Good that question. they need the taxes. But again, it's a it's a philosophical problem. You have ah. to recognize that. It is not more taxation that you need. It's more growth that you need. Right. A growing economy actually allows for more taxation and more mm-hmm. taxes to have. People will come to... Uh-huh. You remember in the, the, the Arthur years when we had the, the, the non-nationals coming to Barbados, the international companies coming to Barbados, the tourists was coming mm-hmm. to Barbados, offshore, 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 sector. offshore sectors, mm-hmm. the, the EYs, all of these things were coming and you had more persons that things. actually tax. Some may say. <laughs> <laughs> Some may say. You're selling up Barbados. <laughs> Some may say. <laughs> that you are indeed selling up Barbados and that Barbados is just right for the taking. A... But mm-hmm. but for, for locals, locals are put on, uh, I guess, uh, uh, secondarily in a place that they should call home when people come to their home and take up all the space. Mm-hmm. What would you say on that? Well, you have to recognize that in small developing economies, you have to find a balance. Right. We need the money. So things can go and sell. Right. <laughs> if you're being honest, some some pristine land may go to sell. Mm-hmm. A hotel may go up and put some pristine land or, or, or something like that. Mm-hmm. So some some costs may go up because they're trying to intra- attract international investment. But you recognize, for instance, what um, David Thompson said. For instance, there's certain, certain courses we don't want to touch. Mm-hmm. For instance, he said the East Coast is one of those places that we want to remain for Barbados. Ah, there, yes. there are things okay. that that you can do. For instance, government housing for, to ensure mm-hmm. that persons can afford housing right. by subsidizing. Mm-hmm. Right. So then, the more money you actually attract from bringing in those international companies mm-hmm. and what's not, it allows you to strengthen your social safety net for those individuals mm-hmm. who who fall by the wayside. Mm-hmm. But what you're doing now is a situation where the economy is not going anywhere. The mm-hmm. economy has not grown in 13 properly in 13 years right. so okay. the, again the goal has to be economic growth first mm. as a small undeveloped state as opposed to taxation or li- unless you're going to collapse on yourself mm. you okay. have to grow so, so we, okay, we, uh, okay. by the way before we move on we got we got two more minutes for Moz before Moz got ship out do, do you think B I just, I just say <laughs> do you think do you think do you think no alright so okay alright let's not be Pollyanna. Let's not be ridiculous about this whole thing. For growth, you need investment. Mm-hmm. Investment, you need capital. Mm-hmm. How are you able to grow an economy without the capital to do that? Where does the capital come from? The capital is there. We keep acting as though government got 12 cents in their pocket. We continue to act as though government is not raising taxation and not having revenue and not having near $3, $3 billion um, in foreign reserves. Money is zero. Money is zero. We'd be pretending otherwise. Me, I, I they, have money. Money, mm. they have the money. Wait, wait, they have the money to have fellas on the... They have the money to have fellas on the side of the road. I'm not against anybody cutting, cutting grass. 
the Ash cleanup costs how much money again? Sorry, I'm sorry. Keep going, keep going. There was a reason, there was a specific reason they mentioned that. Okay. Because, because they have, if it was me saying that policy, we know that one of the issues that we have in Barbados is one for food security mm -hmm. and the cost of food. Mm -hmm. Why do we have persons cutting grass as opposed to planting stuff? Think about it. What people uh, I think it's saying, right? 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 I think it's trees, I go and cut grass regardless. No, no, no. And, and the trees that you're planting don't bear nothing either. Let me again and that. But the thing is, you've got no, no. If you're going to be spending that kind of money, make sure it's productive. Okay. Wait. Uh, you know what bothers listen, we me? We had a drive recently to plant what? Trees, how, how many trees in? in I, don't remember, I don't remember. Trees or something. Yeah. Or, or something. Yeah. It, it, we don't find it ironic that in 2021, we have young fellas doing what slaves were brought to Barbados to do. Oh, come on now, bro. Uh, I hear that bush. No, 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 no. Come we on. Have to, no, no, no. Be, be serious. Slaves I, I were want brought you so to long. Barbados. Hold on, let, 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 let me finish that. We wanted to move away from that type of economy, for instance, and have more productive ways of getting things done. Correct. Why do we have fellas cutting grass on the side of the road as opposed to planting something that's productive? Food, for instance. Hmm. Why are we not putting them in a direction where they can learn about soil, learn about seed, learn about planting, and actually putting that money in a way that can help reduce but, their food? Also, we need to speak to the fact that it is not sexy for a lot of the 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 barbarian. We've been saying that. We've been saying that all the time. I work in the hot sun. They don't want the hard day work. Bro, you see, you are a young person. You you hear this conversation. But that's what they're doing. They're cutting the grass in the hot sun either way. I want to ask a question though, Bruce. First of all, the labor is there. I always you tend to invest. First of all, but hold on a minute. You are confusing me, way. If, if, if I if I if I if I cut if I cut grass for a day, I get money at any day. Mm -hmm. If I plant two trees, and the grass won't cut in. Yes, that's if, my point. If I, if the I, grass will always won't cut in. But my thing is though, if I plant two trees, and there's no shame in it. If I plant two trees, I'm not getting money at any day for planting two trees. I I, 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 not trees. I understand. I understand. I understand. I planting seeds, I'm not. That money is not immediate. Food. People need money today. But, 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 but hold on a minute. You are still I'm just saying, money. I'm just saying. When? In term, in, in term, no, no. You, you're literally, that's you're that's literally that's doing the same thing, just doing something else. Okay, okay, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Give me a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Next thing is, they, okay. So people cutting grass. There ain't nothing wrong with people cutting grass to me, um, Bruce. The next thing is that I eat yams. Just because the slaves eat yams don't mean that I no, eat no, yams. No, 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 no. There's something wrong with the policy. No, no, no. There's something wrong with the policy because if it was me, that had that $10 million, $20 million at my disposal, I would ensure that $20 million, $10 million is not gone towards cutting grass and grow back next year. I would have made sure it would go in a direction with something that's productive, like the production of food, bring down those food prices, for instance, and it's something that has to be maintained, for instance. Man, Bruce, I got a question for you. And you're building a skill, for instance. I got a question for you. No, I'm being serious. No, I'm listening, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. Not, had I been a policy developer, yeah. I have the money at my disposal, yeah. I have the land at my disposal, right. I have the labor now at my disposal. Do something productive Bro, with I it. agree with you. Mm. 100%. I have a question, and this is a general question. Who is going to cut the grass? There's a, there's literally an entity in government that's responsible for cutting grass. Outside of this, know what it is. Outside this $10 million? Is what, is outside what you're saying? of this $10 million. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, Let's okay. Well, now, now, well, now you're... Okay. I, I get where you're... I, I get where you're coming from. I get where you're coming from. And the grass can still be cut, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Because the grass has to be cut. I'm not just cutting yeah, the yeah, grass. Yeah. I understand it, bro. I, mean, I get it. We need to make the investment. Precisely, that's the point. Mm. When you are setting policy, it has to make a long-term sense. Mm. It's not long-term sense to spend $10 million to cut grass that's going to grow back next year okay. after rainy season. Okay. Okay. There's nothing right. developmental about it. I got, I got but by the way, I find it hilarious that you think grass is cut once a year. That's just an example, but there are other I, ways. I, 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 so, so basically, we could say this is a misallocation of funds. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Or just bad policy. I want to say misallocation of Thank funds. You. Because yeah. that is, <laughs> you, you take or use no. the LP anyway. Misallocation of funds has a more serious... And, no, no. You know, and okay. this one is more specific. Yeah. It's more precise. precise. You're saying I'm, misallocation I'm, of funds is more serious than bad no, policy? No, that has, that has a different connotation. So when people say yeah. misallocation of funds, they're more talking corruption. 
Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, 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 okay. I want to ask you. I want to ask you about. Do, but do, do, do you do you understand the fact that the government has a hard time? Mm-hmm. Not only because of the pandemic, but also because of all of the inherited issues from the previous administration mm-hmm. and stuff. And you see, and you would understand if it is very difficult, as, knowing that they're kind of moving off of like borrowed money in the midst of a pandemic mm-hmm. as a small end in the economy that. It's difficult to meet all of these different demands. I'm you, glad you said that. Everything you just said is the exact reason why we need to head in a different direction. Everything you just said. You laid out the problem. Small island, boring, difficult circumstances. So why continue around along the same road where we know where the result is going to be? At mm. what point will we require our government, ourselves as people, to recognize we need to change direction? I want to ask a question while you finish your Because it's okay. not improving anything long term. Right. It's okay. just kicking the can down the road. Okay. And, and long term, long term, if you could just give us just a statement. Long term for you is what? 10, 15 years would be, I would consider long term. That's long term. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm with most of the focus being in what area? How do you mean? As in like, do you mean like in terms of like diversification of the economy? Diversification do you mean economy, that's okay. correct. Okay, okay. I love this. Everybody says that they want to diversify the economy. Mm-hmm. And then when you ask them that, and then you say, oh. in what way? They say, you say how? And then they say, man, we, we can figure it out. Do you <laughs> actually... The, the, the do, new economy, man. Do you, actually, do, you actually have, do you actually have something that can... Um, that, can <laughs> even, that can be... That can even rival or be close to what it is tourism brings to us? It, you don't have to rival it. You just have to create enough spaces where persons have opportunities. So we know that the tourism sector in Barbados, I can't remember the number, but I think it employs about, I think 12,000, 12, don't quote me now, but 12,000 people or something. But it, long story short, we don't need to rival. We just need to create no, wait, various that's spaces. Directly, or are we talking about indirectly? We'll be talking about directly. Okay. So we don't need to rival it because it will continue to be our bread and butter as it should be. Right. No. But you have to ensure that you have, you're creating other spaces for other people to do other things as well. Understood. Right. For instance, you're going to be for a $10 billion economy, yet somehow our small trust loans is only $10 million. You can't be serious mm. about entrepreneurship if you only put in $10, $10 million towards trust loans and, and small and development mm. loans. You have to actually put your money where your mouth is. Right. You can't yeah. be serious about becoming um, fuel efficient or net zero by 2030 if you're not reducing taxes on the electric vehicles, mm. if you're not in, 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 um, encouraging I, persons. I hear you. To you know, um, I hear you. The, 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 I hear you. And it's it, just things that don't make sense. For instance, the central bank. I don't want to confuse you guys, but no, 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 Seed capital. Why does that money not go in that direction as opposed to just paying salaries, for instance? Let me ask you. have to have a larger development plan. Yeah. And when as people get to exactly as opposed to paying, going to payroll, we have to have a larger development plan. It's the same trap the last mm. administration got itself mm. into. Mm. Most of its money was being spent on payroll and debt. Mm-hmm. That's very interesting. So what, what about interest. What, what, so what about the the, the Burt program? Isn't that the, what you're talking about? No, it's not. No, no, it's not. And in what way? Because from what I understand, in terms of like the retooling and retraining of persons, as we not times like me. Oh, oh, in terms of Burt, and don't do that, man. The way you say that sort of thing. But okay, Burt, 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 Burt stands for well, uh, the Barbados economy, Barbados and, economic and recovery, recovery transformation, or something. Right. Like that. Yeah. I was going to say retrain. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking. That you were saying was in terms of like, say, like education, and people use this time to like educate themselves and thing to to teach them how to fish and whatever. You were say, you met something different. I mean, you say reinvestment. I want, I want you give me give me give me like a uh, give me like a plan of what exactly what you mean. All right. So for instance, we can take a look at one sector, and we could take a look at the energy sector. For instance, we, right. we made mention of that, and we know that government has said it wants to head in the direction where by twenty thirty that we are, in essence, a carbon neutral economy, right? Mm-hmm. We're not using fossil fuels, we are alternative energy and everything else, all those lovely things. Mm-hmm. When you recognize the minute like that, your policy has to follow. And y- y- y'all keep arguing that the times are tough and there's less money and what's not, but that's what investments are all about. Correct. 
That is the whole point of an investment to ensure that times will not always be tough. Mm-hmm. Right. If we continue to kick the can down the road and not invest, mm-hmm. then times will always be tough and it will never be a good time to do anything. Right. So look at the energy policy, for instance. Mm-hmm. Like we talked about taxation levels on energy. Why, why do we continue to tax things that people want and, and right. are, are willing to utilize and that can help us reduce our cost of fuel, for instance, and the money that we're spending for our reserves, for instance, on fuel. Because fuel continues to go up. We aren't protected domestically. We live in a society that is that, that we have sun how many times a, a year? Majority of the year. But yet somehow we're so hooked on fossil fuel. Mm-hmm. We don't make any necessary investments going forward. So the reduction in taxes on things that can improve ah. um, electric vehicles, for instance, reduction of taxes on our duties, for instance, on the importation of product right. like the solar voltaics. Educating persons, painting rooftops white, for instance, because it reflects heat. And then the ACs don't have to work as hard, for instance. Mm. Okay. So, so, mm. so there, there are so many policies that you can put into place and things that you can incentivize. The same bonds. Mm. Instead of just paying people uh, 4.2% in bonds, why do we not have that money that we are bringing in, reinvesting it solely in, in alternative energy, for instance? Yeah, All yes. that $129 million they're trying to raise, it goes solely mm-hmm. to the alternative energy industry. And whatever returns we have, we can then begin to pay back those bonds. So there's, there's several things that we can do. Ultimately, you have to admit and recognize that more needs to be done. And I don't think we've gotten to that point. We're just kicking the can in the road and, you know, on that treadmill. But we're not actually doing anything that helps us. I think one of the biggest things for me that you opened my eyes to, because I never did politics in school, but the fact that you said that it's simply a philosophical choice. How do you look at it in terms of reinvesting or you look at it in terms of what is that they're doing now and, and mm-hmm. they're not doing what they're doing? Okay, okay. So based on what is it you're saying now, and this is the environment that we in. Mm-hmm. How do you how do you advise small businesses move in for the for the in the near future and knowing what we have at our disposal and the policies in place now? So hope so a response to what is happening. You're asking me what I would advise a small business to do. Yeah. To move forward. Agitate. You have to ensure that government recognizes that it is small business that drives its economy. Mm-hmm. It's not the masses of the world or the symptoms, symptoms models of the world, you know. It is the small businesses in Spice Town. It's the small businesses in Small Street. It's the small businesses into the street. It's the small businesses on the street. It's, it's, it's those small businesses that employ one, two, and three, and four persons, but enough of them that actually drive the economy and drive economic growth and drive unemployment. It's not the masses of That's the world. That's an interesting statement. It is. But, but, it's the one and twos and threes. Yes, yeah, small, but you have so many of them that they're the persons who are the actual employers of this, of the society. Okay. And the reason why I'm asking this is because a lot of, a lot of young people, especially... Kofi, Mozi, myself, Romar, this podcast, we all in this generation have small businesses, right? Mm-hmm. Even if we have, even if that's not our, sec- our, ter- our primary income, we have small businesses. When you say that small businesses make up majority of the, of the mm-hmm. economy and, and I guess the cash flow in Barbados, I guess I understood it to be a bit different. Mm-hmm. And the masses and things are what keep Barbados going. Right. That's yeah, what yeah, I yeah. Right. They're, they're the people that employing people be like I have, I have myself an an assistant that right. I I hire I hire on a time to time basis. Like I'm not driving mm-hmm. the economy. I'm very sorry, I'm not driving so, the economy. So when you say that what, what is that you mean? How and, much and do it, is, it is recognizing that you are actually the drivers of the economy. Because we, we, we know this, there's strength in numbers, for instance. It's really the small business that again hire one to the part time. Mm-hmm. You have enough of those. That actually outweigh the masses of the world. That actually outweigh the symptoms models of the world. I think Massey, I don't want to tie you wrong. Uh, um, no, that's an old estimate. I'll make it, it up, no it, boy. No, we, we can't tell, we can't come back. This man is scientific. Yeah, bro, yeah, bro but, made that up. B. But, but no, really, it's, it's, the, the, the micro and small businesses drive our economies. Not in tourism? No, well, tourism, I think, makes up 40% of the economy. Right. Believe it or not, just right. 40%, huh? Right. The rest is consumption and the, the employers are actually small businesses. Think of it. You have a couple masses in Barbados, but when we think of the persons who are selling clothes in town, who are selling um, product in, in Sprite's town, the, the persons selling food in Oystins, the persons who are DJing at home, um, the persons 
who just, you know, those mm. are the individuals who, again, they making billions of dollars and millions of dollars in profit per year. Right. But if enough of those single individuals employ other single individuals, those are the persons who are the drivers of the economy. It's I, not mm, those big corporations. I can be real with you right now. This is the first thing you said. sound like a pipe dream. It's not, but it's, it's, it's literally factual. I, okay. But, okay. You said, you said um, I don't remember who you said was 40%. Masi? No, tourism. 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 Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> government, government, sorry. Government. I'm, I'm no, down my back. It could be massive because so, so people's getting it. No, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. That's was, that was very funny. But um, I would argue that like after the government, God mm-hmm. be Shafet. Like, I feel like like after Shafet, God be somebody else. Like, they got yeah. to be like a lot of big corporations all, before mm-hmm. you actually touch the bulk of the city bulk. Of, I feel like, I all right, I honestly believe I don't have any proof. Mm-hmm. This is you use the man in the industry. Right. But I find it very hard to believe that the bulk of small businesses outweigh the sale of Halut. Yeah, they do. They do. Okay. I, you, you, I got to okay. see a number. I got to see a figure. That is no go, 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 go. Let's use food, for instance. Correct. Uh-huh. But let's think fast food, for instance, or food in general. How many persons in Barbados sell? Food. We're talking pastry, we're talking food, food vans. we're talking all of those. All them. There's so many of them. Mm. Small restaurants, people with the vans, people mm. selling from home. There's the port on the weekend, the south on the weekend. Those mm. are small. I am telling you that those persons sell more food than Halo. You see, okay, okay. Those persons sell what, more what, food. What's the metric? What's it ba- what's this based That's on? I'm genuinely saying. asking. The, I, I think there was some work done either by UNDP or somebody, I forgot it. I can't, it's not coming together right now, but it, it sports to the fact that micro and small businesses in the Caribbean, Barbados included, are the ones that drive economic That growth, is amazing. That drive I, consumerism. Sight. And I, I don't want to be disrespectful. Sight. I don't believe you, but I want, I want to believe you. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Okay, I, I'm okay. sorry, I'm sorry. I, I just find that very hard to the, understand. The corner shops, for instance, when it comes to food. Ah, uh, okay. There's so many like, I do, I do, shops. I do understand that like mm-hmm. all these people are food vendors and they have to be adding to the food industry in Barbados. Mm-hmm. But to compare that to the established people in the industry, I don't know if that's small numbers. Think of it. You, you're, you're in the creative sector. Think of DJing, for instance. Mm-hmm. There are a handful of big DJs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when it comes to DJing, who gets most of the work? Think of it. The big DJs. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. When you're thinking about those large events, fine. But on, a, on an individual... Oh, okay, okay. We got, we got, we got, we got, okay. That, that, we got to break that down. We got to break yeah. down. Who gets the most work? No, if you're talking about who gets, who, who works in the bar five times a week, the small man. Mm-hmm. How much money is that man making five times a week? Mm-hmm. Does that compare to when that big man works one job? Mm-hmm. No. Okay. What? Okay. Go ahead. No. Go no. Ahead. Think of it. Think of the trickle effect. If you have five big DJs that are making good money, mm-hmm. those five people can only spend so much. Right. If you have fifty other smaller DJs that right. are not making as much, mm. those individuals though have a larger trickle down effect or a larger cascading effect than those five DJs. It's just a, it's just ah. simply a numbers numbers game. Think of it as wealth in Barbados. They got mm. a, a handful of wealthy individuals in Barbados. But do those sorry, that's are, true. So there, are, yeah, are those sorry. individuals the drivers of the economy, or is it poor people? I got or average you. people. I I, I get, get I, 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 I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, and I I, I agree. agree. I agree. I agree. I, I get what you say. I understand, mm-hmm. and then I am um, open. Sixty percent with you. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I feel like I feel like there's a lot that I could rebuttal with. Mm-hmm. Hear, 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 hear me, Bruce. Hear me, Bruce. In terms of um, in terms of that, I would say that my skepticism is close to where Kofi is. However, I would. 100% believe you on your word that it is a significant portion, significant enough for us to feel empowered by that. I, I feel that strongly. Okay, so in terms of the, okay, so in terms of small businesses though, you said to, to, that they should be agitated, but uh, and they should, I guess they should kind of, so you're saying kind of like demand what they want? Recognize that they are more important than they're recognizing that they are. And using that to your advantage. In what way? Because government policy in many ways is catered towards big business. Because maybe part of the idea is that it is this big, big business that drives the economy. They certainly attract international investment, for instance, that a small business would not do. Mm-hmm. But when it actually comes to spending power, right now, actually comes to employment, it's actually small persons and medium-sized <laughs> businesses that do that. Wow. I want to agree with you so bad. It's simply a numbers game. Oh, right, I, right, I want right. to agree with it you so bad. It is simply a numbers game. I get what you're saying. Okay, in terms of... 
other than agitation and encouraging the government to make okay, in the end of the day, I agitate the government. Mm-hmm. Let's let's put it that way, right? And they really ruffle feathers in a positive way and stuff, right? What do you think that the change they should be that they ask for? So, for instance, some of the things that small business definitely need is debt forgiveness. So Hello. a lot of small businesses are in debt. Yes. Because of no fault of their own. They also need seed investment. So instead of the $10 million that you attribute to seed investment, that needs to quadruple, if not even more. When you say seed investment, what do you mean? So as in there are small loans where government gives up $5,000, I think it is, to small right. investors and small, small businesses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is not enough. Right. That sometimes, if you, you're your media, that, that can yeah. buy you furniture. Yeah, that, that, that can nothing. get you to buy the exactly. So recognizing that if you really want small businesses to prosper, some what they're gonna need is actual real investment. Mm-hmm. Another thing as well too, the bureaucratic system is too too much. Oh man, yeah. Oh, spit. As in, as in getting oh. things done in Barbados is quite yeah. difficult. Right. So you need a situation where it doesn't take. 10 years to get incorporated. Right. It, it, that, 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 I, I don't want to tell you on it. Like, I, I, I know you're saying this. Mm-hmm. I don't want to tell you on the stand, though. <laughs> it's, exactly. I like get all basic small things done. Exactly. I, there, there, there are things that I want to do, like in terms of like get, get, getting grants and that kind of things and, and things from the government. But Jeez. the rigmarole is so bro, much. And I, I, I understand why it's, why it's that's the case. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's so much that really. Do you, t- I, I want to call out something, you, right? No, you say you want to start, right? I, I don't want. I want how I want to do this, but I'll just say it because I had three drinks. You remember the man? The man applied to be cultural practitioners, right? And one of the perks is you could get things imported duty free. And I think that's a that's a brilliant, that's amazing. Why do I have to write down a list of the things that I want for the next year <laughs> to get anything duty free? As the FA deviate from this list, I have to pay for it. So if I want to get a sound interface injury free, I have to sit down and I have to think about what is are the next things I want for the next 12 months brought into the free. It's not practical. Sorry. So so and then that takes three weeks. Who does that for you, precisely? Right. That, 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 that's, not, that's not taking three weeks to, 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 to process after I spent a month mm-hmm. wondering what is my next mm-hmm. year. No, that's not how it works. I, I need this thing to know. I just we were sorry, but I ain't gonna touch on no. But we just went through a, a a part of the um industry where a lot of people realize this business cannot survive the way it is. I need to go into live streaming. I need to bring in things to do live streaming. Mm-hmm. Nice. But she's on bread. I cannot do that last year when I fill out the farm to get things really free. So I now I have to pay stupid money hmm. to get things brought in to just do live streaming being and just to live. So, so the point, you, and you, you, and you were going on to say, it's too difficult is to do basic things, right? Which is continuing from what Kofi is saying. No, you're saying that in terms of the bureaucracy, that it doesn't need to be so um, stiff and extensive. Business, yes. Because do you think? Let me be honest. Do you think that the again is is there any legal repercussions for calling Massey? Do you think the Masseys in the sense of the them, world yeah. have those issues? No. Okay. Point taken. But there you go. So you literally have a governance system that caters towards a select few people. Mm. Well, it, the, it, the, it, the phrase "select few" is so interesting because it's not a select few people; it's a select few entities. Entities, and businesses. entities. And, 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 and um, the reason why they do that, no. Is that only our administration or is that just something that's that has been... Is that just a, a traditional... That is structural. That's not any administration alone. That's not just Barbados. It's the Caribbean. It's just structural. That's the world, bro. Structural, structural, pay, structural, structural way. Who pays the paper calls you to? So many of you... When, when elections come around, who who who, who political party are you financing as a small mm. business? Who political party financing is nah, I know you're correct, bro. I know you're correct. I know you're correct. Know precisely, correct. precisely. So the realities mm. are is that these people are connected. These people went to school together. They help finance campaigns. Um, you know, they fraternize together and yeah, narrow court sure. and, and and they have those connections to get things done in their favor. And that's uh, and you know how you how you could go even a step deeper. Some of these businesses and the companies don't need to be in Barbados. Mm-hmm. They could easily go to Jamaica, Trinidad any other country and succeed. Mm-hmm. So we need to pull as much strings as we can to keep them in Barbados to employ more Barbadians. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so, so, but we're thinking that, they, that they're the bulk of the employers. But again, I would bet to you that if I had to go in our parliament, both the Senate and the lower house, and they said that it is actually small business, 
who are the larger employers in Barbados. I, I don't think many of them would know that. I'll bet one my pretty dollars on that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and it's, it's just getting that information out there that's actually small business that has to be focused on as opposed to persons who are already established, who are already set, who already have the international connections, who already have the port of entries, who already have the finances, mm-hmm. and yet still somehow we still continue to finance and support mature industries and mature businesses as opposed to <clears throat> small ones who looking to innovate and get things done. This is such a great, this is such a great segue. I've, and I have to also stop saying when they're great segues because <laughs> I realize that I've gotten the habit of saying that this is such, this is such a great segue. This is such a great segue <laughs> because Barbados has been divided into two Barbadoses many times. One of the times has been with, and I don't know if you've seen the conversations that we've people have had on social media, but one has been like the favor that tourists get and then how locals are playing like second fiddle in a way. And then the same thing that you said about the international stage and then but home drums don't beat first. A few organizations have gotten priority when everybody else did not. One of the two Barbadoses that we have seen has been the church and everyone else. And the state. And that is just <laughs> the, 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 the church. And everybody that is not uh, in the church, uh, 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 uh. but the church gets favor and other people do not. And that's how it comes across to me. And I think that plays into what you're saying about that a lot of these big companies get favor because of the fact that they have a hand in the pie and that our hands are too small as small people to gather a hand in the pie too. And that plays a role in the two Barbadoses being the bigger businesses, right? And then the small people that are on the uh, that are emerging businesses that are coming up, we get the short end of the stick. Mm-hmm. I, right? I, I don't want to cut you off, Marcus. Uh, I just want you to say real quick, right? Just to add on to what you're saying, just to bring it back to the same duty free issue with small businesses and the church, to get a piece of equipment for the church, right? This is, this is the same thing. It is to write a letter, though. Where are the small businesses have to sit down and think, what am I doing for the next year? The church has to write a letter and say, I need this to know. Give me this right. no. Which ties back into everything that I, that we were all saying about the Republic, right? Mm-hmm. And, it's a, and a huge knock that we have on what they're doing with the Republic and stuff or whatever. I agree with you that I do love the fact that we have broken colonial chains and whatever and we've moved on to the next. But have we though? <laughs> have we? Because if, because if we're saying that like, it's strange to me that we are saying that we're breaking from these colonial chains, yet... The religion that came here because of colonialism gets certain things that we do not get. No, I do not. I do not have a knock, a knock on Christianity. I myself am a very I'm pseudo Christian kind of thing. I don't go to church, but I still pray. One kind of people, right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, though, do you see that the church gets certain things that people that aren't in the church get? One of those things has been in terms of like COVID restrictions and that kind of thing and that kind of thing. I want you to talk about that. What, what I would say is that I think the church has been vocal in calling for what it wants and mobilizing people to get what it wants. Right. And actually the church is an, a successful example of what mobilization can do and mm. influence that it can have. And that's why I call on small businesses now to begin to do similar things. We can't blame the church for being successful. What I can do though is bring up when the entertainment industry had mm. a meeting, I don't want to call it the wrong date, but it was last year and nothing came from it. It's not that we did not try to mobilize. Mm-hmm. The only time the entertainment industry got some sort of leeway was no. Mm-hmm. That we was like, yo, everyone, sorry, not we. Everyone was like, yo, this is kind of um, weighted to one side. Mm-hmm. So it cannot be simply that the church has been mobilizing. People have been vocalizing. People have been saying, yo, if this can happen, surely X can happen, which is very reasonable. Mm-hmm. So what, what It is reasonable. The thing is that the church has been mobilizing even when they're not problems, that's the mm. difference. Remember, the church is an institution. Right. An extremely old institution. Right. That has already has its, had its tentacles in government, had right. its tentacles on the politicians for a long period of time. It has the connections and all those various things. So if you have a, a new entity, if you have a new mobilization coming in, you may not have as much influence as something that's been Bro, around a thousand years. I, I am describing entertainment. Mm-hmm. The, the entertainment industry is not new. No, I don't mean comparatively new. But what I'm saying is that the church has always been a mobilizer. It has always been an influencer. It has always had those connections. Entertainment is something that might be relatively seasonal. The issues are colloquial. Whereas the church has always had its 
thumb on politics. So, that so, sort of so, mentality so, can hold about the economy. Agreed. I don't disagree. Okay, so okay. so you so you think that so okay, so we should kind of take from a page from the church's book, kind of. Certainly. Okay. Uh, okay. But but, but you, goes... you, you do understand, you do get a lot of the frustration that the entertainers feel. Yeah, certainly. I, but 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 it goes to it goes beyond just the church. It it, it the two Barbados to speak of. I, I used this example already before Mark, the Mark Maloney situation and Ross University in particular. So you had a situation where it was argued that Ross would bring $200 million into the Barbadian economy. Mm -hmm. And what have we done? We have reproduced the colonial system where it's plantationalized, as I call it. So mm -hmm. all the housing, in essence, oh, in one oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, the yeah, transport yeah. is in one body's hand. What do we not have a U.S. Kind of like Holy Cruise ships has come and they, they only book X, X company Pre precisely, to tour, precisely. To tourists. So yeah, why okay. do we not begin to democratize our money? Right. You use an example for instance, so persons could build up in their house and tell our students to come and live at my apartment, they get some of that cut. These ZR men could have gone up there and bring them wherever they gotta go, get some of that cut. Why do we continue to centralize finance and money and wealth? So you so you do believe that that's a that's a deliberate policy? That's you do you do you it's a deliberate policy. Ah, okay, get you. So so you do believe that uh, when when people say that Barbados is basically run by a, a, a small number of people who are who kind of have those tentacles in? You believe that to be That's, the case. That, that is the case. One hundred percent. But not just Barbados. But that. And again, we would have thought that this government that who represents us that would act in our interest, as opposed to reproducing the same policies. So the welcome stamp, for instance, we were, right. we were promoting this welcome stamp thing. Come to Barbados and what's not. You've ever met anybody from the welcome stamp? I have. That's, That's insane because I met a girl last How week. How many? Uh, I met one person okay. last week. I've never met anybody. Where do these, where do these people find Oh shit! Lies? No, sorry, sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm telling lies. I I've met people. I've not. You've met. Any? I've never met. Okay. Any. Where do these people find lies? I don't know. I think that clearly well, any I, I, echelon. What I would say, I'm part of the like. There's a welcome stamp group on Facebook, which I'm only a part of because mm -hmm. I asked. I heard that there was one. I just wanted to be a part of it, and it was just for more research purposes. I won't get into that. But yeah, yeah, I, I was just looking at the people that were there and they have like a close knit kind of group. Like I was here for like three months. I use these two vendors and I really like them. Here's right. what but in terms of like in terms of interacting everybody, I've never I, I've never seen that. To, to be honest, that's how I met them because they were all in the same place that I met them. It, it, they were reproducing the same tourism product. Remember, we always talk about all inclusive tourism where they come in, they, they use the same boating, the same, the same right. buses, the same um, entities. It's reproducing like that. Almost a resort type of yes, um, tourism. Yes, it's reproducing that. So, mm. why do we not democratize our wealth? Why do we not democratize the pie? Okay, I, I, those are deliberate this is, policies. This is a, this you is can't a, tell me otherwise. This is a, okay, this is an interesting point, then. This is an interesting point. A lot of people are saying that. And I think that this somewhat ties into what you were saying about what the Republic should be. The Republic represents breaking away from old ideologies and old and everything going to like, for example, the Queen, right? And we have that kind of like hierarchy of things mm -hmm. in almost every industry, right? But how do you do that when it comes to money, privilege, and wealth? Because my, to me, right, in terms of this a capitalist society, people that are wealthy will always be favored over those that are not wealthy, simply because those that are wealthy can add something that others cannot. And we, I, I don't, I how, don't knock anybody for being wealthy. So, but how, but how do but, you, how do you do that? How do you, how do you tell, how do you tell somebody that has money, we're not going to use you anymore, regardless of what your product might be, or regardless of what you, your incentives might be, simply because we help out people that are underprivileged or whatever. How do you make that without? Slighting them in some it, way, It right? has to be a policy decision where a government recognizes that a mature individual, a mature entity, a mature corporation does not need my help. This is taxpayers' dollars. Mm. Help who need it most. Mm -hmm. Why would an, an entity that has all of these resources need government help? Funneling it in a different direction. It has to be a deliberate policy when you recognize as a government. You know what? It is my responsibility to ensure that these individuals are taken care of and these individuals can be prioritized and money goes towards these individuals. Government spoke towards it that its procurement process and program was supposed to um, 
en enhance, or rather not enhance, sorry, 5% was supposed to go to young people and this percent is supposed to go to this place and that place. Those are the things you have to actually start doing, ensuring that your money is being spent in certain areas as opposed to all of it going in one direction. Interesting. You have to, and the thing is, you ask me, um, in essence, um, mm -hmm. you know, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Because people are so used to it happening. They don't recognize it's happening. Uh, because I raise it to the point to you today that the Ross University situation mm -hmm. is a reproduction of the plantation system. The um, Welcome Start situation is a reproduction of the plantation system. They are, system. though. They, they are. They are, but people don't seem to recognize it. That mm. the wealth is again being concentrating in a single set of people. Ah, and that okay. is a deliberate policy. Rich, we will have exactly. It's always been a deliberate policy and it continues to be a deliberate policy. All okay. right. How, how do you break out of that? Because the reality is the rich people got the capital to make the businesses. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for someone on the ground to prove that I can make a difference. We've made it difficult for them to do it. That is the whole point. Ma, all we right. I, I don't think it's that simple, bro. Like, I, I, okay. Like, and this is speaking of someone that has um, a couple of small businesses. It is very, I, it is very difficult for me to say, well, I need X grant because X, Y, Z, or I need X loan because X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of understanding that like you're buying into someone that you, you're not familiar with. Like, they don't have the proof that they could back this. As We're, opposed to... As opposed to individual, hmm, I won't get another discussion. Mm -mm. No, yeah. you need to though. You need to. No, no, no. You need to. Like, <laughs> like get us though. <laughs> tell me what you're saying. Tell me what you're saying. What I want to reform that I'm saying, in, in essence, is that we have created a, a, a society, a structure that makes it difficult to prove things. And the fact you're asking for these things to begin with is a barrier. Trust and believe there's several well connected individuals that is loophole that is, me, that does leapfrog <laughs> those same things that are being asked of you. Yeah. Trust and believe yeah, that's so for sure. that's true, that they're leapfrog those things. They, those are even considerations for those individuals. Okay. So we have structurally designed our society in a way where we intentionally or almost argue intentionally make it difficult for small people. Okay, so what okay, what things I'm getting from as a takeaway? The entertainment industry needs to be have some kind of union, like how the church has uh, entities like collectively. Okay, I also want to know about artists. What can artists expect in the next year? Oh, before we get to that, oh, oh shoot, is what, the solution to what you're saying about what policies can be put in place? Is that what will come in the constitution reform in the next fifteen months? We don't know, because um, what I've been speaking about is economic empowerment, and the constitutional reform bill is actually not legally binding. It has no legal standing. So... It's worse than a paper, really, So if you're being honest. Because I was right. It's, it's worse than a paper. Um, the, the charter, for instance, is worse than a paper. It has no mm -hmm. legal standing, no legal binding. So what is it? So they don't have words in the paper. So then what's the point of doing it? Tear. <laughs> Like, so, being honest. so then how do you legally bind it? How do they legally bind you, it? You choose to do it, exactly. So they have you, not chosen you, to do it? They have not chosen to do it. It's well within their right to choose to say that this is something that we will commit to. It's no different by any piece of legislation or international agreement or what's not, but they've chose not to head in that direction. So there's no so there's no so there's no point to the constitution reform. They can choose to head in that direction and make it a point, but they well, have no benefit. There's no benefit to the constitution reform as well. It can. It can. Only if they choose to do it. If it's not legally, so but they will legally bind it then. If the if it's if it they've decided not to. So again, it's up to an individual to decide that I want this or not. So go, oh, so then go. Okay, I got ask again, gang. <laughs> there's no point of doing it then if it's not legally bound. I wouldn't say there's no point of doing it. I I I would say that it is a useful document to have to give direction, mm -hmm. but you have to start instituting. That direction. So it's kind of like recommendations. It's, it's recommendations. Okay. And we've had several recommend, recommendation like documents before, mm. but nobody's acted on it because they're not legally binding for instance. They aren't taken very seriously. Mm. So, you know, that's one of the unfortunate realities. And again, it shows that their deliberate attempts to either head in direction left or direction right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted it to be legally binding, you should have. You would have just made it legally binding. Okay. <laughs> we run, out, we run out of time off, but I, I know. If, but what, what, what you, what you want? Say anything you want? No, I, I if like, you want to touch on anything. I don't have anything to touch on in particular. Um, like if I was to summarize what, what I feel today, I, I like a lot of what you're saying, Bruce. But to be honest, a lot of it sounds like um, 
the idea of an idea of an idea is like <laughs> we hear, but like I can't I cannot imagine a lot of, of what you're saying um put into practice. I I want it so bad though. Like it mm-hmm. it honestly sounds it sounds like sort of stuff I, I would like to see implemented. I just cannot tell you how I could see it implemented. That hard drive getting tired. Um, I understand what you're saying, Kofi. For me, what my takeaways, what my takeaways was we have to mobilize more and 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 agitate the government more. And the proof that you, it's the same thing that you said, Kofi, about yeah. the fact that we, we spoke up and it was the right time. So I'll keep talking about things. And um, I get what you're saying. In term, I think more small, small businesses need to be empowered into speaking their mind and saying exactly what they want. And 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 the bureaucracy has to change. And we have to let people. They have, we have to let them know that the that the bureaucracy and the and the red tape is is a lot. Um, uh, do you, before but, but before we done though, what do you have to say? Do you have any takeaways for young people to have? And even if you said them already, it doesn't make a difference. Mm-hmm. Any takeaways for this thing? Just say quickly for people watching that thing. I think the main takeaway for young people is recognizing that they have to take control of their lives mm-hmm. on an individual level. Mm-hmm. On a social level, on a governmental level, you have to be engaged. You have to in- engage. Not only be engaged, you gotta educate yourself. You gotta sit down and listen to you know podcast. You can learn something. Right, 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 right. right, right. <laughs> you, you, if you don't take away ten things, you may take away one. Right. And it may help you going forward. So it's really about engagement. It's really about education, and it's really about mobilization to get things done. We can do better as a society if we bring the right people to the table. Young know, people have a lot. To offer, I get you a lot to offer. So just get to the table. We need to get ourselves to the table. I feel you. I feel you indeed. Um, Bruce, thanks for coming through. For right? sure. Right. We always appreciate the fact that you have a voice and the, the and the voice and the voice that you have, although it has a slant, is still quite objective and more objective than most. Right. After uh, that, we appreciate you. We appreciate that you spoke your mind and you just said how you feel. Based off of all the research that you've done and all and the amount that you do in, in, in politics and thing, everybody look out for Bruce and uh, Devron Bruce in the paper, <laughs> right? <laughs> look out for him and anything that's coming up. Me. Anything so? Um, a vocal, a vocal person. A vocal person, and I think somebody that is going to be a huge voice for young people in Barbados and Barbados overall. Anyway, I rambling. Thank you for watching. I know podcasts. Real. Probably Merry Christmas too. I'm Merry oh. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the I Know podcast. Information, knowledge, observation. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon.